Hi, this is Mike. I'm an adventurer and a dad. Today I want to give you a quick update on the Craft Auto Works OES Pro here. The OES Pro is a 100 amp hour portable battery bank. So it's got charging inputs, it's got power outputs. This would be similar to like a 1500 watt range power bank that you might get from Jackery or Goal Zero or EcoFlow. I'm showing you this again for a couple reasons. First, uh, the unit has changed a little bit. He's made a couple of, they've made a couple of updates to the configuration of the unit um, that I wanna show you about that I think are pretty smart. Um, and second, this really is a different kind of power bank from other products that you might get, like I mentioned from Goal Zero, Yeti or Jackery or um, EcoFlow. Um, and I'll show you those things as we go along. Um, third, uh, I bought this with my own money. I paid for it, this is not a promo of any kind. So here are the relevant details for this item. This costs uh, $19.95, almost $2,000 for this unit. Um, it's DC focused. So it has um, only a 500 watt inverter in here and only one inverter outlet right here. Um, it has a five 12 volt outlets. So that would be like your car charger, cigarette outlets, where you, you plug the socket into those outlets. It's got five of those. It's got two uh, 12 volt DC Anderson power poles right here. So these are both fused separately on a separate fused in circuit. So these are their own individual thing, but there's two of them ganged up in one. So uh, before they had six, six of these same, same, they had six of these same uh, 12 volt sockets. Now they've got five 12 volt sockets and two of these. Um, it's got five USBs of varying outputs. Those are here in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So it's input heavy where other batteries that you might get like this Jackery here has one input right here. Um, so this has, this has three inputs. It's got 12 volt alternator charging here from your vehicle. It's got one 10 volt shore power here and it has solar right here. So you can put um, all of those things, you can have all those things plugged in at the same time, you don't have to switch things in and out. So like I said, the new things from the previous version of this are these two Anderson power poles right here. Got two of those. Um, the second and most exciting actually is that it's got a custom battery in here. So Craft Auto Works has worked with a battery manufacturer and they have uh, produced a new battery that has a custom case. It's a metal case um, where the lid comes off. So if anything needs to be reset or uh, repaired in any way, they can pull the top off of it and, and do that. Whereas most other batteries would be uh, glued shut. They're not technically serviceable. You would have to like pry the glue off, um, pry the top off and re-glue it or re-tape it to get it back on. The other factor with the new battery is it has um, a low state of charge reset. So there's a button on top of the battery. If you let your battery get drained below, uh, I think 10 and a half volts. Most of these lithium iron phosphate batteries have a battery management system that will disconnect them from outputs if they get too low in voltage to protect the cells. This one has a lower wake up point. So you'll be able to um, go a little bit under voltage and still bring it back without too much trouble. Do I understand exactly what that means? I do not. So this unit comes with a vehicle integration kit. That vehicle integration kit is an extra $200. Comes with some items to basically uh, hardwire your vehicle in so that the alternator is outputting directly to this. So that when the car is charging, you're charging at 30 amps instead of 10 or 15. So that means that it will charge a lot faster. It's great, but you do have to purchase this kit and install this kit for that to work. Other systems do have a similar kit, like the Goal Zero Yeti systems have a, have a kit like that. It's $500, and you do have to do all the same wiring with your car, but it also takes up one module in that unit so that it prevents you from using fast charging from a different source. So, as I said, this can take fast charging from multiple sources. So in this kit, first is, um, a 40 amp circuit breaker. This goes in line uh, between the battery and the car charging so that if anything happens, it'll break 
the circuit and protect everything. It comes with a number of connectors and fittings for wiring everything in. He gave me an extra um, power pole um, port here because he knows they knew that I was going to be wiring this in for a trailer. So I will put this in the back of the vehicle so that I can run it to a trailer. Um, so it's got all that. This is another extra thing he gave me. This is an extra Anderson power pole uh, lead to go from the truck to the trailer. This looks to be 10 or eight AWG wire. Well, it's pretty heavy duty stuff. Um, and then the main unit here, oh, some extra Anderson power pole connectors. The main unit here is a long length of ganged up red and black wire inside a sheath. So this is gonna be nice. You can run it all the way back. You don't have to put anything else in it. It's fully protected. This will be, well, more, more than enough, more than I need. And then of course you get instructions. Instructions detail how to wire that in for um, both a direct line or a bulkhead connector like what I'm gonna do for putting on a trailer. I don't necessarily know that buying this kit from Craft Auto Works is cheaper than just making one on your own. And if you're handy with wiring and crimping connectors and all that stuff, then by all means, just make it yourself. It doesn't really, uh, there's nothing special about his kit. They've just done it for you. And I'm not necessarily very good at making those connections. So I just got it from him. What comes with the OES Pro um, is uh, you get a, st a sticker, you get a uh, Victron Energy um, lithium battery. Uh, this looks like a catalog, to be honest. The main DC to DC charger is a uh, Kisei uh, charger, and you get a, a manual for that. You can actually open this up and reprogram it if you want to. It's very confusing, so I would recommend that you don't. This is the manual for the Victron Energy 500 watt inverter that's in here. And then this is a printed manual from Craft Auto Works that goes over the instructions and things that you need to know about using and servicing this whole unit. So that all comes with it. So some of my initial impressions, first of all, this is an, a big unit. It does fit in my trailer tongue box uh, where the other one was. There's a bit of extra room in there, so it does fit in there. And that was the main reason I purchased it because if it didn't fit, obviously it would be useless to me. It does actually fit under the bench seat. If you have a three person bench seat in a Ford Transit van, it slides right under there. You can either have the ports facing forward or back. I've used this a couple times, so I don't have either vehicle um, wired with fast charging, um, but I did use this twice for about 24 hours to power a fridge. And surprisingly, there's, there was no drop in voltage. There's a voltage meter right there. And it started out at 13.3 volts. And then I powered the fridge for a day and it ended at 13.3 volts. So I'm not sure how that works, but this has plenty of power to power either of the fridges that I have for 24 hours uh, without any input and charging and probably a lot longer, but that's usually all I need. So there are a number of positives and negatives with this unit. I'll start with the negatives because it's always nice to end on a positive note. First of all, the 12 volt DC ports in here, um, when you plug a fridge into it and it jostles around, they can come loose and your fridge can turn off. Now, I know that there's not really any standard for how these things are made and there's no standard for the plugs, um, but I found that they don't really grip it very tight and that can be an issue. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the cable secured and make sure that connection is nice and tight and then keep an eye on your fridge. Second, there's no low amperage DC input for this. So if I wanted to plug it into say a 12 volt port in a car that does not have a vehicle integration kit installed, uh, you can't really do that unless you go through and reprogram the Kisei DC to DC charger that's inside here. So that's the only charging input that I think is lacking from this. I don't know how you would make that happen. Uh, you could of course plug uh, shore power into an inverter in a vehicle. Most modern vehicles have an inverter of some kind in them and, and 100 watts is plenty to, to charge this thing at full capacity. Um, so that's an option too. 500 watts of AC inverter power is not enough to run an electric kettle. It's not enough to run most um, heating units. It's not enough to run a induction cooktop. So if you're looking for something that can run a kettle or a cooktop, this isn't the unit for you. 
it's big. So this case is large. It's a lot larger than a comparable um, 100 amp hour unit from any of the other manufacturers. And that's because all of the units here are out of the box uh, parts. They're not integrated. They're not uh, built onto a board like they would be for a different unit. And also some of these Jackery units or Goal Zero units will use uh, little lithium cells gang together and not a standard form factor battery like this one uses. So the positives, uh, this is serviceable. Because all those units are out of the box units that take up a lot of space, you can uh, take them out and replace them if you need to. The vehicle integration kit here is a lot more affordable than it would be from a competitor. So like I said, the Goal Zero unit is $400. This one was about $100. This unit is technically upgradable. If you wanted to change one of these panel mounted uh, DC sockets, you could. If you wanted to have uh, more USBs or uh, if you wanted to have more of these power poles, you could do that. Um, it's not necessarily super easy because it's tight in there, but it's possible. Since this comes in a front runner wolf pack, if you have other wolf packs, you can stack them on top. If you have other items, you can stack them on top. You're not going to crush this. There's nothing right here by the top that's going to get damaged or dented by having weight on top of it. So that's really convenient. If you have any of the other systems, obviously one of these can't stack anything on top of that. As I said, this is DC focused, so it's not a lot of wasted space here or on the inside or the outside for your AC outlets. It's only got one. Even this little 300 Jackery has two uh, AC outlets on the front and it's only a 300 watt uh, inverter. So um, thinking here is that if you're camping and you're going over landing, you're not gonna have a lot of uh, household plug-in things that you need to power. This will power a drone battery charger, a camera battery charger, um, things like that, uh, but not much else. And, and honestly, I struggle to think of a single thing that I would even charge with this 110 outlet anyway. So if you're interested in this battery system, the OES Pro, check out craftautoworks.com, ask them questions on YouTube or Instagram, they'll help you out. Um, and stay tuned here. Uh, I'm gonna go home right now and we're gonna install the uh, vehicle integration kit for this so that I can use it this weekend to charge the battery in the trailer. Thanks for watching and happy trails.